concert with four people being killed. I mean, first of all, I know the guy didn't get asphyxiated. I saw the pictures of the yanked off of the stuff of him being yanked out. He was quite alive when they yanked him out of the building. Alive, folks. He didn't die of asphyxiation. He, they brought him out. Those pictures are gone. There's no backup things. I mean, it's how it works in the, new, in the industry. You miraculously remove things. If they're not on YouTube, they get yanked. Mm -hmm. If they're new stuff, they go bye-bye. If they're Pentagon stuff, they go bye-bye. But um, they think... Well, it's, they get yanked on YouTube, too. Yeah. But the, um, but they don't necessarily get yanked if, they don't, if they're not happy with this president. Mm -hmm. So... YouTube is actually a different division than Google. Google worships the ground the president walks on. YouTube is basically a money-losing machine, and they can't afford to be shut down because the people that they do business with them provide money to do things like that. But um, it's what they're talking about. There is, okay, the president of the United States broke no law in not doing anything. Mm -hmm. That's not the point. It's called high crimes and misdemeanors. There, a misdemeanor is not a crime. It's something you should not have done. And that is how a president gets impeached. Not, they said not for what was done, but what was done to hide what was done. That Richard Nixon broke no law. None. None. It's just what was done to keep something that was rough. The trick is, what was in those files that they took that shook people so much? Oh, interesting. That That's was basically really good. Buried. I mean, they're going to... They're going, okay, they, they expect that the, the President of the United States is going to be tossed under the wheels of the bus of the Democratic Party after the election. It, you know, they're going to, because the Democrats want Biden as Vice President. They totally Why? want him, because Biden is one of them. He's, he's, he may be senile, which he's not, he does not have Alzheimer's disease. He's just showing signs of getting very old. He doesn't remember things like he should. He's, he tends to say, old people have a tendency to say whatever they're really thinking. They, they don't have the same filters on. That's right, because uh, as, as uh, one of the people said, God, I'm 84 years old. What's he going to do? Threaten to have my grandchildren killed? He said, I don't like my grandchildren. That's that's the threat you make on a you make old people you don't threaten the same as you do a young person. They don't have the same threat ability because they're dying. They they know that he's got, okay, you're eighty four years old, you're not gonna get any younger, so what's good, you know. You can't threaten me because you know I'm dying. Threaten somebody that I don't care about, you know. So they tend to speak the things that are on their mind. But um they would rather have Biden, who is one of them, than Obama, who is not. Obama has never been a team player. Never. Obama wants to change the way things are being done, and the Democrats don't want that. They're perfectly happy with the status quo. But uh, they're not blaming the Republicans for nothing getting done. Mm -hmm. the Republicans have submitted budgets every year since Obama became president. They stop in the Senate. Well, okay, for one simple reason. Harry Reid knows that he's going to veto anything. Mm -hmm. Obama will veto anything the Senate puts out. Anything. Because the Republicans are not, going to, they're not going to spend money for union projects. They're not going to spend money to increase failing government projects. They're not going to spend money for green projects that aren't going to work. They're not going to spend money for automobiles that no one's going to drive. They're not going to spend money for roads that never get built. So they just don't put them up anymore. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's been like two years of nothing getting even brought to the brought to the votes because they know that even though the, uh, that there there's no support, and if they do get it passed, the president will veto it because it's not going to be what he wants. That's all it is. If it is not what he wants, he threatens to be veto it, which means nothing gets accomplished. It's, the gridlock is because of one person. It's the president of the United States, and the Democrats want him gone. So they will more than likely impeach this president if he does get elected, which looks quite logical because the um, early voting is like they said, 95% for Obama. And as, as they say in the words of Chicago, vote early and vote often. <laughs> no. Well, you know, and part of it is those results are also skewed. Well, see, what happens is when they do the early voting and they write the headlines and they put all this stuff out, there are some people that don't come out and vote that otherwise might have. Okay, all of the rules are now have ended for this election because they said the only way the president can get reelected legitimately 
is to make certain that people do not come to the ballots. Which is what they're trying to have happen. Right. I love how they say legitimately, because some of the people that might have voted, it's, I'm just sitting there looking at it going, you know, they don't need to open the ballots early because there are mail ballots that if you're registered, if you can't make it, right, yeah. that they do. Because the reason they were justified was just like, some people can't get off work, they can't make it, it causes extra stresses. Well, they can just mail in a ballot. Yeah. They don't need to have the voting booths open early. Yeah. And then the military, which is overseas... It's not being permitted to have the same rights as the people mm -hmm. because they're not, they're not supporting Obama if you don't support this president. Basically, they know it's like in 119 counties across the United States, the military has been de declined the right to vote, which means those all favor the president. But um, we're going to tell you how the press can't interfere with an election. Mm -hmm. They did, okay, in the Al Gore uh, vote thing, they said Al Gore won the election. You know what happened mm -hmm. when they said Al Gore won the election off the East Coast time? What? People from the West Coast didn't go vote. The people in the Midwest and the West Coast didn't go vote because the election was over. But guess who didn't come out to vote? Who? The Gore supporters, because they were not necessary to go waste their time and vote because it was a, it was a, you know, it was a close, but a, but a, it was close, but a lopsided victory for Al Gore. Well, it wasn't a lopsided victory for Al Gore. And that's when those chads did count. Yeah, and uh, that's why they were trying to count. They were trying everything they could to make certain that he got votes that they, the press took away from him. Well, that is how the press can influence it. That's right. And, and I mean, part of it is they're not trying to necessarily influence it. What it is, it's, it reminds me of fashion, is they're in the rush to have the information out they first. Were the first, okay? it's, it's all about first. I mean, we know it. We were the first with the, first with the least the other day and got it up. Mm -hmm. Because the people with the with, with people out they out equip us everywhere we go, but we have an advantage. We're mobile and they aren't. Yeah, we're mobile and yeah. And we can get it out. And the thing is, they said because Obama has forced early voting on things, the press has now come up with a new idea. Well, we may call the election as early as the first poll closing on the East Coast now because we have we'll have the figures from the early balloting in. Even though the early ballots won't be counted in a lot of places for an entire week, they'll have the polling from the people that they have taught. Okay, here's one. Oh, hey, nice spring chick. Have you already voted? <laughs> it doesn't make any difference if you haven't. Oh, yeah. They said, uh, who did you vote for? Well, I voted 8,700 times for President Obama. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an overwhelming victory for the President of the United States. All the polls show Everyone that we talk to, you know, 99 and 9 tenths percent of the people have voted at least 8,000 times for the president in the last two months. Well, I always love the questions like, how many times did you vote? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know. They, 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 so, but, uh, but basically, um, you know, they say, oh, hey, old person, did you vote? And they said, well, yes, I voted for Mitt Romney. Well, there's a vote for Obama. Mm -hmm. See, that's how it works because the people taking the polls are no longer trustworthy. So, uh, but the, uh, and then you all, here's another one. How many of your friends voted for the President of the United States? Well, I've been told that at least 25,000 of my friends have voted for, ah, there's another 25,000 early votes for the President. Well, I know, but see, you have to understand, those 25,000 have a million friends. Mm -hmm. There's a million more votes for, and then those millions have 10 I million know. friends. They're, the President of the United States has won an electoral landslide. See, part of it is you think we're, we're being ridiculous? Well, guess what? It, it's, it's how it's done, folks, because um, the early voting is not allowed under the, under, okay, here's the trick. The courts have all said all of the laws that were passed to put the voting back on an even skew again are legal. But we, they can't take place until, even though they may have been passed three years ago, they can't take place until after this election. Mm -hmm. Then they can go into effect. Which means everything is designed to elect the President of the United States in the court system. It's also, a, you know, elections do have consequences and a, electing a person, one part or the other control the judicial system generally ends up with a problem. But no, it is, it is a likely scenario that someone is going to have to be pay for the deaths of those four people because this it ain't going to go away. The Democrats well, was... Democrats can't make it go away as as people in in the government are sinking this president 
They're letting the information out. They're dribbling it out. They're basically, the President of the United States, like Jimmy Carter, is undergoing a thousand cuts before the day of the election. Mm -hmm. Because before the election, you know, it, it, it comes out that Ronald Reagan is talking to the Iranians about the release of the prisoners that, that uh, Jimmy Carter couldn't get done. Guess what happens on the day of the election, folks? Mm -hmm. the, they start making the announcements, and guess what? You know, that, that prisoners are going to be released, not because of Jimmy Carter, but because of Ronald Reagan. Yeah, and then the, uh, you know, the Rose Garden thing, that basically what happened was oh, uh, Jimmy Carter locked himself up in the Rose Garden while Reagan is being presidential. Mm -hmm. It killed him. This is what's happening right now, is that they said that, um, okay, the Bill O'Reilly and others don't like the fact you got two candidates, one is acting presidential, the other is acting like a Chicago thug. Mm -hmm. the, and it's not the one that is running for the office, it's the one that's in the office, and you know, and what happens is, Obama has lost the woman's vote. Why? Because they discovered something very important: women don't like Chicago thugs. Hmm. They like gentlemen that basically are handling it in a presidential manner, and he's costing the pre and, you know. Um, so, but we we shall see. It's just the rumor is that that one way or the other, in 2013, there will be a new president of the United States. It just whether it's Biden or Romney is left to be seen. It's not likely to be Obama. But until then, this is old Cam. And this is not a spring check. And we're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And for more information, you can go to our more commercial site, which is mbnnewsvideoweb.com, or to our, our main site, which is www.montebobo.net on the net. And wherever you're watching us, subscribe to us, follow our daily newscast in 3D. And thank you once again for over 250 million links on the internet. But also, you can follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook or pin us on Facebook. <laughs>